quick tour of my old town 14 and a half foot fishing canoe now that theoretically maybe sorta kinda it's probably finished got most of the kinks worked out i think so this is the final ish product when i was trying to figure out ways to customize the canoe to make it better for fishing i looked all over online and really there's not a lot for the plastic canoes so i figured i'll put this on maybe it'll help somebody in the front i was told gorilla tape was great to armor the nose and the back for when you launch and you're coming in and out potentially rocks bumping into things it's extremely chewed up already Apparently, your only other option is there's a couple different armor stickers you can buy. Apparently, they all are about as good as the Gorilla Tape. Or you melt PVC and epoxy it into place. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. The Gorilla Tape's stuck on there now. It's, yeah. So, it's going to be an issue. A 10 sticker, because why not? My son thinks it's a shark, and it's really cool. Up front, just a grab rope. Helps when you're getting in, getting out. My son's spot. His life jacket on his chair. Up here, if he's not with me, or even if he is, I have a 100-pound sandbag I'll throw in. It really helps to just enhance the stability. Really. I'm definitely a fan of it. Carrying it down there sucks, but... Soft side cooler... Sims tackle bag. <sighs> that deserves a video all in and of itself. Hell of a nice tackle bag. Huge price tag. Nice tackle bag. The straps for the... Oh, hell. M Maloney? Track? I don't know. It's the big Maloney cart. It's the stainless steel one, not the aluminum one. Honestly... It's been really good. I've had no problems with it. it. Goes through sand, goes up hills. It's been good. It was more than the other ones, but it's been a good investment. Holds it really well. So some of my MacGyverish features. These are the rod holders I finally went with, and they're mirrored on each side. For most rod holders, they want to mount to this rib. On this canoe, it's basically plastic channel there's not a lot of structure there and i looked at monster rod holders and all kinds of other ones i just didn't feel real good about how they mounted more so where the tension would all be on that just little plastic rib and pulling straight down so my idea was with the pvc it keeps the weight very low and it keeps the pressure kind of pushing out against the side of the boat as opposed to straight down. It's actually worked pretty well so far. And all I've done is I've taken some stainless steel strapping and mounted them to the, to the rib. And then there is a piece of two by four down there. I've done the same with stainless steel strapping. Let me see if I can get you a better shot of that. And mounted them that way. And the two by four is wedged in to the point where it can't come out, they can't tip forward. So in my opinion, it is pretty much as solid as it's going to get. Fish finder, depth finder. It is a Garmin Vivid Striker 7 CV. I've got it in the portable kit. Does not have maps, but it does have the uh, live draw. That's going to get its own review, so we're not going to go over that a whole lot. My spot, sponge, clean up the water you bring in. Another toss float Cummings net anchor line bag anchor rope going to a well take your pick here grapnel grapple anchor do have it zip tied on the front so I can break it off if I need to painted it blue why well rye fish it's kind of a mixture of sandy bottom and weeds so bright green blends in bright orange <laughs> blends in black yeah, forget it. Debated white. Ended up with blue because, uh, very honestly, I had blue paint left. Let's 
excuse me, Mr. Net. Oh, there's a little quick fleet system here. That was eight bucks on Amazon. Works extremely well. This paddle. Now, I didn't know that paddles were a big issue in the canoe slash kayak community. It's sacrilegious in most people's opinion to use a double-sided paddle in a canoe. Don't care. Works better. Above and beyond that, I ordered this paddle. It is a Yak Gear Backwater Assassin Carbon Fiber Paddle. But it is the 260 millimeter. So it's a longer one because it's a canoe. Order this from Bass Pro Shops. Was supposed to ship directly from Yak Gear. Well, it was back ordered. Bass Pro Shops couldn't figure out if it was back ordered, if it was shipped. Long story short, I called Yak Gear directly. They figured out instantly, yeah, it's back ordered. It's going to be a while. They offered to send me the shorter one instantly. I said, well, I think it's going to be too short. They came up with the idea of why don't we toss in the extension so it's long enough for you and we get you on the water right away for free. And they got it out and shipped it that same day. That's a company right there. That is, they were amazing to deal with. The mounts, I think, are Kaplan's. Um, really good. I like that you don't have to snap anything in or out. You just put the little rubber tie over it. Holds it well enough. Then I've got another Yak Gear uh, leash onto the paddle because it is expensive and I don't want to lose it. So, initially started out with the wooden paddles. This is just a whole lot easier, a whole lot better, a whole lot faster. Now, for our depth into my white trash black belt. <laughs> How did I mount my transducer? I want my fish finder to be portable. Uh, that's why I don't have it mounted to anything. So... <laughs> I took a piece of metal that came with one of my outdoor lights, bent it into shape, and it fits and rides perfectly. Put a pool noodle around it, shaved the back so it rides against the wall of the boat perfectly. Cut a relief in it for the wire. Mounted the transducer down there. And it's held on by an Irwin clamp. It's quick. It's easy, it works, it is on there, and I've had no issues with it. I can't complain. So, this is what I've settled on for my boat. So, hopefully it gives you guys a little bit of thought of interesting workarounds you can do if you're having issues too. I know I just... Personally, couldn't find things that I really, really liked that I thought fit the style of fishing that I did. So, this is what I came up with. Guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Get out fishing. Hook something big, ugly, toothy, scary, slimy. Have a good time.